Hi and welcome back to The Taste Kitchen. Valentine's Day is just round the corner and whether you're taking your other half out for the evening or cooking a delicious meal at home, it's likely wine will be on the menu. So if you want to pick your Pinot with confidence, whether it's a Grigio or a Noir, we're here to help. Hi Steve, now you're the author of the Wine Rebel blog and also a member of Aldi's Wine Club so you are more than qualified to give us a few hints and tips on how to choose the best wines for you. And um, What are your three top tips? Okay, I start off by saying the best thing to do is to go out there, try as many different wines as you can. You can't be experienced of actually tasting them and it's fun too. Mm -hmm. For example, you can look for red berry flavours that you might get in a Rioja, the vanilla from the oak aging and jot these down and you'll get then an idea of the kind of wines that you like. Linked to that, on the label of wines they actually say it's going to taste of black currant for example in a Cabernet Sauvignon or Gooseberry in a Sauvignon Blanc. You can then know which wines that you enjoy from the tasting we talked about earlier and also check the labels so that you're buying wine with confidence, you can try new things. And when you want to try wines from further afield, explore a bit more, it's worth knowing which grapes you find in Old World wines. Old World means basically Europe, France, Italy, Spain, those countries, but they don't actually have the grape on the label. In New World countries like New Zealand, Australia, it'll tell you it's a Shiraz, a Pinot Noir, people get to know them and know what they're after. From the old world, if you know that a Burgundy is made with Pinot Noir, you'll then know that if you like a Pinot Noir from New Zealand, you can try this with confidence. Let's get started, and we'll start with the fizz, I think. Yeah, brilliant. We'll kick off with Prosecco. Uh, that's made in Italy with Glera grapes, and it's tank fermented, so the fruit shines through. It's quite frothy apple and pear flavours. And if you notice on this bottle, it says DOCG, which means Denomination Origin Controllata Garantia, which means the G is important, means it's the top wine of this type. Oh, right. Moving on to the champagne, then, seen as it's Valentine. This is a bit of a more serious drop. It's made with um, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier, the three classic champagne grapes. It's bottle and um, barrel fermented, so it's got more toasty, oaky flavours as well as lemony vanilla. Moving on to the wines, you've brought in three for us, a white, a rosé and a red. What are they? Right, well the white is a Garvey uh, made in northern Italy. It's a still white wine. It's got nice uh, lemony flavours, um, really easy drinking, great with um, a rich risotto to cut through or fish. If um, someone likes uh, Pinot Grigio, yeah. try them on Garvey, I think they'll like it. Oh really? What about the rosé? Yeah, this is um, Toro Loco Rosé uh, from Spain. It's um, got a really nice, fresh, strawberry flavour from the Tempranillo grape. Great serve chilled on its own, or because it's got a nice fruit, it works with spicy food like peri peri chicken. Oh great, I like that. Um, and what's this one, the red? Right, well I've got the um, Malbec here from Argentina. I like Malbec, and that's <laughs> the one we'll be trying. Can you open Excellent. it for us? And tell can. me about the wine whilst you're pouring it as well. Sure. What should I be tasting in this wine? Right, well this has got nice plummy flavours, it's got good um, blackberries in there, and a nice smoothness from the vanilla oak as well. Really nice. An amazing wine, isn't it? It's great, brilliant with steak. Yeah. Any Bordeaux red wines with Merlot in them, it'll say on the label, they'll have the same fleshy, plummy taste, so try those too. We want to know what you'd like to see on the Taste Kitchen, so hit the subscribe button and tell us your suggestions in the comments below. See you next time.